everyone and welcome to Shoshi's Art Haven. For those of you who follow my blog and who like looking at my photographs, you will realise that I'm a real glutton for rust and other textures. And uh, recently I thought it would be fun to do some projects with a, a more of a steampunk kind of um, flavour to them, a bit more grungy than I've been doing recently. Uh, and um, the other night I was trying to find some instructions on how to paint rust and I found some quite good very good tutorials on YouTube, but the best ones seem to involve uh, buying some special products to do it with, and I thought, well, if it's just for making one effect, is it really worth buying this, this two-part um, um, product? And I thought, well, I'm sure with all the materials that I've got that I could generate some realistic rust myself. So that's what I set, I've set myself the task to do. Um, with acrylic paints and gel mediums uh, and just basic uh, cardboard and, and all the things that we've got on our tables. So uh, this is by way of an experiment. I can't say how well it's going to work, but I think it's quite good to do tutorials in that way because then if I come across any pitfalls and I, I video them, um, then they're all there for everybody else to see as well. If, if um, uh, and it shows the the pitfalls to avoid. So if I can leave the mistakes in, I think that's probably a good thing as well. So uh, anyway, we'll see how it goes, and I hope you enjoy it. Right for my rust sample. Um, this is going to be an experiment and it's a combination of various different instructions that I've found on YouTube. Um, this is just a piece of mounting board which is, has got a thin coat of white gesso on it and I'm going to paint that with black gesso. Uh, and um, then I'm going to try using some of this blue pearlescent liquid acrylic ink and um, then I've got this coarse pumice gel medium, acrylic gel medium, uh, which I think will give the, the texture. And um, then I'm going to use a combination probably of these, um, these different acrylic paints. So I've got a dark brown, orange, a sort of medium brown. Oh, that's a grey, kind of grey, beigey grey colour. Uh, but I'm not, I'm not sure yet. I'm going to have to mix them up on my palette and see how they come out. So, uh, let's give that a shake. Oh yeah, and also I've got the, this copper um, acrylic paint which is absolutely gorgeous. I haven't used that yet. Look at the colour of that. Isn't that lovely? So I think that's going to be quite nice. Uh, and then when I've done the rust I want to put some some nice steampunk sort of um, gear wheels and things on there. Make it look rusty. And then if it works I shall do some bigger projects. But the first thing I'm going to do is just put some black gesso used this for ages. Right. Foam brush is the best for this. I want a nice sort of grungy feel to this. Let's get the heat gun on that dry it off. As I expected I need another coat on that. dry enough now. Strip 
some glue onto there. Spread that about. I've no idea whether this is going to work. Maybe too blue. I'll have to see. If I put too much on, I'll have to scoop some of that off. Blue. I was hoping it might be a bit greener than that. Let's dry that off. I spritzed it with water. I was hoping it would go just a bit kind of blotchy. It bubbled up a bit. I hope that's going to be okay. So I think that's quite an interesting finish. It's quite metallic. It may be a bit blue. I may need to do this again and mix a bit of green with it. Okay, let's try some of this. I'm hoping this pumice spill medium is going to give that nice crusty texture that you get with rust. be quite orange enough. I need a bit more orange in there. That's starting to look a bit rusty. And I think when I put the copper on there, 
Oh yes, I think that's going to be okay. Let's dry that off a bit. this that is gorgeous look at that I just want to overbrush that just very lightly Oh, I think that's quite nice and rusty. And just the final touch, I'm going to seal that with some um, semi gloss gel medium. do a lot and just work that in. I think that'll just take some of the shine off it without making it completely matte. Just work that in. Yeah, I think that'll do. Give that a final dry. There. One piece of rusty metal. I think if I do that again, I shall put a little bit more green into that so that it's not quite such a blue colour. I'm just going to rub some of this. It's like rub and buff. It's called treasure copper um, over the top of the rust just to bring a little bit more shine back into that. There. Yeah, I think I'm pleased with that. Well, I think you'll agree that was quite successful for an experiment, really, and uh, given that I didn't have any genuine rust making materials but just used um, acrylic gel mediums and um, acrylic paints and various different iridescents and uh, you know the iridescent um, liquid acrylic and things like that. So uh, I think this was quite successful. Just ordinary mountain board just with those materials on that I showed on the video. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do some projects using this. I think uh, that um, when you work on ATC size like this, it doesn't matter if it goes wrong because you don't waste anything. So I shall probably use this and um, make some... I've made some moulds, which I've, I'm in the process of making a video about, uh, and um, I shall probably use some of the gear wheels and things that I've, I've made out of that. And I also want to make some moulds from the heads of, of um, bolts and screw heads and things like that and do some castings of those and maybe stick those sort of things on as well. And I'm thinking of making some boxes and maybe decorating some frames in this style as well. So watch this space and we'll see how we go. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye for now.